Cancer, hi and welcome to your reading. This is Pasanman and Rising Cancer. If you are returning to my channel, welcome back. If you are new, welcome and thanks for stopping by. Coral Tree Tarot here. These are timeless and general love tarot readings, so only take what resonates. Um, and let's jump right into it and let's see what's happening for you, Cancer. We will begin with these messages here. I have already pre shuffled and cut your deck so let's see okay this way passion okay this person is really attracted to you in six months time so something significant is going to happen here i want to date you beautiful they are very much into you and no strings attached as well okay so perhaps this is how you guys this is how it's going to start or this is how it started you know, it may have started purely as very sexual connection, you know, a lot of passion. Um, and then something developed. I want to date you. So this is what I'm getting. In the six months time, it's, um, there's going to be a milestone that's, uh, that you are guys going to um, sort of hit at that right six months around about six months time so let's see cancer we've got the empress i did shuffle the deck and i cut the deck um and then i realized i haven't been recording so i left the tarot for you here this person <laughs> sees you as the empress and it's nice in there can you hear the storm um Seven of Wands in the past, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Cups. I actually cannot believe what beautiful energies these are. You know, this person is your soulmate. Um, they, they view you as the one, you know, with the Empress. Whew. This also could be your energy. This could be how you feel about someone. <clears throat> In the past, there was some sort of resistance here. We've got the Seven of Wands. In the future position, we have Ace of Pentacles. We've got a new beginning. We've got an offer coming. That's the overall energy. We have Two of Cups here. Cancer, beautiful energy. Strong Taurus energy here. Um, I want to know a little bit more about the resistance. What was this person? What, what was this? What's that resistance about? Please tell me. Five of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune here. Hmm. Hmm. They didn't want to engage in some sort of um, the Five of Swords. It's, um, they didn't want to engage in some sort of arguments. They didn't want to engage. If it is an argument, then, you know, if there were other people um, that were interested in you, then this person... Because this is resistance, this person didn't want to kind of like engage in, they didn't, I'm getting, they were not jealous, they were not engaging in like cutting their, the, the um, competition out, if you know what I mean? But the Five of Swords, because Five of Swords is this, um, someone wants to win as in a situation, no matter what the consequences are, okay? Um, and this person, this is, you know, there is a winner here and the other people, you know, have been defeated. So this person, I feel if there were other people um, in the past that, you know, you may have been entertaining before anything developed between you two, I feel this person wasn't like, okay, I'm not going to be, you know, forcing this um, if cancer is not into me. Well, we've got... The Wheel of Fortune here, I kind of feel that, you know, this person was pretty confident that there is something much bigger. Um, as 
the back of this situation like this person knew that the connection between you two is special is fated and therefore they don't need to engage in you know canning out competition and kind of lowering themselves to to the level of someone who you know does that this could have been Virgo Taurus Capricorn strong Taurus um, also Aquarius Scorpio and Leo I'm getting someone you know pretty confident about what is the connection between them and you because of that resistance to this pretty low vibration energy that five of swords is and in a sense you know we have the empress and two of cups i mean this is a mutual love and this person looks up to you this person sees you as the one um this person knows that no one measures up to you and um, and because it's sort of the two of cups is such an equal energy I really feel that you know they are a good match for you simply because of that message about the past that they resisted um, you know engaging in like talking bad about the other people that you may have been still seeing at, at some stage in the past tell me more about the offer tell me more about the ace of pentacles there is passion i want to date you no strings attached perhaps that was the that was the the start of the connection here because i'm getting that there could have been other people involved in this situation in the past and therefore perhaps your connection with this person was just based on passion and no strings attached and then it developed and it changed and this person kind of felt this from the beginning they kind of knew that fate is um and destiny is on their side like this is an overall energy this person kind of felt it from the beginning that the mutual connection between them and you you and them tell me more about that oh, it's so dark but i love it actually this person will oh there we go we got a knight here of wands six of wands and um, the hermit energy tell me more about the knight of wands tell me more about the knight of wands there's definite oh there's definitely there is definitely you know passion here this person is really really sexually attracted to you they were and they will be um there is a mix of energies here uh cancer we have these two energy as the why this ace of pentacles will appear in the future and you know ace of wands is is the very pure to me um uh, message about how this person is passionate and how they really like to be with you okay but the hermit is just completely different energy here and i kind of feel that it's like a transition i know we started with the hermit and we went six of wands here is as well this person because they will be confident this connection between you two will work out will be successful six of wands this offer will come come forward they will offer something um but the duality of the energies here the hermit and knight of wands that very sexual energy here i 
but this person is using both heads. I'll put it this way. Do you know what I mean? This person is using both heads, okay? The intellectual and the other head. Um, and I, I find it very important, a very important message here. Cancer. Um, don't only focus on that. Meaning that this person is both physically attracted to you and will be. And that will be one of the reasons why they, in the near future, will come forward with some sort of offer. I do believe that there is something transforming here from no strings attached and pure passion to I want to date you. I actually want to get to know you and um, create a relationship because of these two energies. This person will be using both heads. Which means if there is an energy of uh, some sort of intellect here, um, well, you have someone that's going to be great in bed and will, will, will really look forward to being with you and, and exploring this connection with you on a sensual um, level. But also, this person will have enough wisdom enough maturity and enough life experience as well this is an all elderly person to be able to see that this thing can work and they do want to offer you a new beginning they do want to offer you something tangible and i do believe i you know this this really beautifully blends in with that off, with that uh, oracle here, I want to date you. This is a transition, transition that is happening between two people that are connected, um, that, that that are connected with their souls, and this is a mutual love, and this is not an accidental co connection. This is definitely um, a destined love relationship that is evolving here. And it all started, no strings attached and pure passion. Six months time, in six months, I feel, you know, if, if this, you know, has already started for you and it does resonate, you know, look back at six months. Was there any sort of, um, um, like a milestone? That, that, that has happened to you and this connection and this person. Please show me. Choice. There we go. Yes. Uh -huh. So, there was a choice here. And we know that there was someone. I was really getting someone here. The Five of Swords, for some reason, made me feel. I'm um, sorry. This oracle says here choice between two your heart already whispers the answer listen they made a choice and the choice was you this person didn't this, there was there was a time at the beginning of your connection where there were multiple people um connected to one of you and you know let's say to you and this person resisted kind of like Okay, well, Cancer want to um, see other people, that's fine. Because we had this message, no strings attached. And then, this person started feeling the connection, feeling the pull of energy towards you, feeling the Two of Cups energy, and they made a choice. And this is a yes. He'll be back, trust and know he'll return. For me, this is that offer. This is, this is that offer. There is something coming, um, something substantial. This is a situation that's transforming, transforming into a relationship. And it all started as a, you know, casual relation, casual sexually based connection. I have never known a love like this. I dream about you all the time. You are my soulmate. And we've got, there you go, I 
open about you all the time. You are my soulmate. This person knows that. They knew it from the beginning. And that's why they were so confident. And they will remain confident. That's why it is going to help this person here use everything. Live experience and that pure passion. They, this person is super attracted to you. Super attracted to you. There's a lot of um, fire, sex and passion. But also wisdom, maturity. And life experience, that's what I'm getting with the hermit. There is an offer coming. There, there is a relationship forming here. Cancer. You could be dealing with, um, I believe I did mention, um, there is Virgo here as well. Apart from Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio and Leo. <laughs> Karmic past. You are soulmate. Oh, and... Unbelievable. Look what you have. The seven house in astrology deals with one to one relationships. Is it? There's a relationship, partnership brewing here. This is beautiful energy. Absolutely. Karmic past, south node. You met before. You met before in, um, in a different lifetime. That's why this person does recognize who you are. They, they knew it from the beginning. Cancer, beautiful energy. Let me know if this resonates. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please, 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 please give me a like. I do appreciate that. That's all that I have for you today. All the very best, Cancer, and I will speak to you soon. Goodbye for now.